Hey crazy friends, it's Jay with Find You Crazy. We're a family of nine who travel full time in an RV with six of our kids as we go around the country to see every national park. Well, if you watched last week, you know that this is actually the second part of our two part video because we were having so much fun here in Connecticut and Rhode Island, we couldn't fit it all in one video. As we talked about in our last video, we came in here with a little bit of a budget issue, and so we didn't have the money to do all the big things, and so we decided we would just go around and find all of the free things to do. And we found so many free, amazing, beautiful things, we couldn't fit it all in one video. So if you watched the last video, you're ready to pick right back up. If you didn't watch the last video, go ahead and click back over there, watch it now so you get the context. And then we're gonna pick up where we left off with the cliff walk. All right, so today we are continuing our effort into free fun uh, and seeing this beautiful, beautiful state and city. Uh, so today we are doing the cliff walk. If you're not familiar with that, it's a three and a half mile walk along the cliffs on one side. Um, and so you have the natural beauty and the cliffs on one side, but on the other side, you have some multi-billion dollar mansions. Uh, yes. Some of these were literally like, when they were built 100 years ago, cost like $6 million. So like 70 room mansions, wow. the Vanderbilts, the, like the height of the Gilded Age. Um, and so you get the natural beauty on one side and these mansions on the other. Uh, and so uh, we are really, really excited, um, especially since like it's free to do the walk. You normally have to pay to park, but for some reason today it was free to park. So this is absolutely free to us. You get to see the surfers and just hear all the crashing waves. They have bay boundaries on this first level is all paved. So the first about mile is paved and it really is um, what they've used as a boundary between you and the sheer cliffs that go down to the water are these incredibly fragrant and beautiful flowers so coming in here in the summer or in the spring is really a perfect yeah. time because the smell of the honeysuckles oh, and man. all the different colors they've really done a great job with it it's very easy walking um it is kind of crowded so know that um we're you here on are, a saturday too though. yeah we're, and it's a beautiful day here in the summer but it is really a great walk and we're excited to kind of give you updates as we go along um because it gets different as it goes along a little bit more moderate a little bit more difficult a little bit more dangerous they said so we're going to see how far we make it, and then we'll keep you updated. walk like we said it is a three and a half mile walk this is made up of basically three different types of trails so there's some really really nice paved trails super level super awesome stroller friendly then there's some moderate trail that is level but it's gravel mm -hmm. not a stroller friendly mm -hmm. uh, and then there is some like rough like where you're scrambling over rocks like pretty dangerous like mm -hmm. definitely not stroller material <laughs> definitely not even young kid material <laughs> um, but the nice thing is along the maps they show you which sections are which um, you park up on the north side. Uh, we parked at the very north end. Mm -hmm. And the first section from there down to what's called 40 Steps, which is this really beautiful stone kind of stepway down to the water. 40 Steps, I would assume it has. We didn't count them. Um, but uh, there's parking also there. But that first section is really more the natural beauty. There's really hedges so to your right. And it's just beautiful ocean views and flowers in the spring out to your left. But once you get to 40 Steps, then you get into what's behind this, the beautiful Gilded Age houses. And what's really cool about this section is that there are placards that you can scan mm -hmm. with your phone. There's QR codes you scan with your phone. Uh, and then it brings up a website that has all of the history. And so like yes. we're stopping and reading to the kids like, yes. who built the house and of like 
the, the thing everybody wants to know is how many rooms, how many rooms, how many rooms. <laughs> how big is it? <laughs> um, and so that's the big thing for our kids for some reason. Um, and so, but you can read all about it um, and get some really neat information. Um, and so all super of this beautiful. is free. Um, we didn't have to pay for parking, but you might have to pay a nominal amount for parking. Yeah, I think it's normally know. like a dollar an hour. Yeah. Um, it's not, not a big deal. And, so, and you can choose. Um, it is out and back, so it's not a circular right. trail. So you do need to know that as far as you go, you're, you're going back, back that far amount of time. Um, and right as you come past the 40 steps, there is a bathroom there. And then you kind of head down there. And that's where your first QR code is. So be looking for those. They're very small. They're over to the side. But it's really going to help you know more because the maps just tell you what you're seeing. But they don't tell you much right, about what you're seeing. So you really want to tap into that and get an idea of just the extravagance of this age, the history of these age. This right here was um, by a New York uh, mogul who had tons and tons of money, but he donated he to his church. He was a professional yacht racer. Yeah, yeah. How New, how New England is that? <laughs> and he donated to his church for a dollar. And so now it's a it's part a of a university yeah. around in here. And so each one has a unique history and it's really amazing. So some of them are extravagant, huge, but some of them were donated to really incredible causes and, and stand to this day for different purposes. And some are even open to the public. So all of this is free. It's beautiful. It's great exercise. You have an incredible scenic view. So you need to keep coming with us and see what else we find. The cliff walk was pretty amazing. Um, I mean, just what we expected. I mean, two completely different kinds of beauty. I mean, seeing these grand mansions was really neat, uh, but then seeing the beauty of the coastline was equally, I mean, honestly, more uh, beautiful. Sure. Um, we parked at the Easton Beach parking. Uh, there's some limited parking on the road that's metered. Um, the Easton Beach parking is like $20, $25, um, and so it's pretty expensive, but there's just not a lot of parking yeah. to be had it does give there. you access to the beach so if you're going to come for the day and right. you're going to do the cliff walk um, which took us literally a couple of hours to yeah do. we we hiked two and a half miles down so from the parking lot at easton beach to the china tea house yeah. which is amazing is about two and a half miles um that counts a little bit of walking around down on the beach in the areas but um about two and a half miles so you're looking to cut some of that off like we said you can park at 40 steps there's some meter parking there and that'll cut off about half a mile um, there at the beginning you know which is really just more the coastline beauty not you don't really see any houses before that point yeah. Um, but yeah definitely 
definitely a must. So twenty five dollars if you want to get really premium parking. They say get there really really early because in the summer it fills up super fast. Um, and also twenty five dollars might not be bad to get a prime spot right there at the beach. Um, there is a restaurant up there. There's a little place you can get some food. We saw people getting all kinds of snacks. There's also some um, like food trucks and there was a lemonade stand and um, frozen lemonade and things like that. So you really could make a day of it. And so therefore twenty five dollars might really be worth getting closed if you have young kids or just don't want to um, add extra walk to your cliff walk but this was a hundred percent worth it if you are in the Newport area yeah, don't miss so this one. one we got a great day I will say if it had been full Sun in the summer we would have melted there is very little shade on the walk mm -hmm. and um, you just keep wanting to go further because there's just beauty further down and another house and another really cool access to the beach and so um, we didn't play on the beach today it was a no swim day uh, there was definitely a stench in the air I, it was some red tide it was anyway there was some stuff going on but they weren't letting anybody in the water except for surfers and so um, that was okay with us so that we just focused on the cliff walk but you really could make a beautiful beach day of it um, bring a picnic lunch and enjoy that entire area because it took us a couple of hours to really enjoy the walk along the cliff walk to see all of the things and we also played on a beach a couple of them actually climbed down on some rocks so for us um, it was really enough of a day experience and then now we're going to do something even equally as fun we're going to so now we're going to head to um, like a famous local restaurant. We actually saw this place on diners, drive-ins, and dives if you watch that show on right. Food Network. Um, and so they've got some pretty, it's like a seafood market and restaurant all together. So you can imagine Anthony's the seafood's got to be like seafood. crazy. Anthony Seafood Market, uh, mm -hmm. because that's what it is. Uh, and so we're actually going to just go pick it up because the restaurant's closed. Uh, but this is another hint for uh, a budget-friendly week, as we talked about we're trying to do. One of the things that we'll do sometimes if yeah. we're wanting to go somewhere that's like a really famous restaurant or they serve something really famous, but we're not at a budget place to be able to throw down a full meal for everybody. No. We'll go as like a mid-afternoon snack. That's what, we're doing. what we're doing now. So we're going to get a couple of the go things and we're going to share it all. Yeah. And everybody's going to be happy. We're going to get the experience. We got them some frozen food. lemonade because we knew they would like that. We're not sure that they're going to like what we're picking up, but we want to try it. Um, so we're just, we got some that is very inexpensive. They're about $4 a piece. And so that kind of can help you get some local flavors without spending the Newport Beach prices because it's pricey around here. So Old Anthony's is famous for having all kind of great seafood, but the two things that were on Diners, Drive, and Dives is their Kung Pao Calamari, which is fried calamari in a Kung Pao sauce. Very interesting mix there. And then their stuffed claw hogs, which is a big clam. Um, they call them stuffies. Uh, and so it's clam and peppers and onions um, in Whoa, it's the hot. clam shell. Oh, um, yeah. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So we're going to dig in. What do you think? It tastes like Chinese food. <laughs> yeah, because it's Kung Pao squid. Mm -hmm. So it is. Oh, calamari is... Um, Kung Pao calamari. Yeah, but cal calamari is... Um, squid. Octopus. Squid. What's octopus then? Calamari what? is octopus. <laughs> what does it taste? It is. Okay. What? Then what is octopus? Octopus. It comes as like... No. No. Mm -mm. And then this right here is a quaha, but it's spicy. It's pretty this spicy. One, this is a quaha you can have. It is squid. Oh, I've had calamari before and I thought it was octopus. Oh, what do you think about squid? Good. Rosie, come up here and get some. So All right, good. Ruthie, let me get a bite. So now we are actually totally done with all of our fun in Connecticut and Rhode Island. But as you can see, 
a budget doesn't have to limit your fun. We had so much fun we had to break it up into two videos and man did we see some beautiful stuff and eat some pretty yummy food. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel we would love for you to do that so you don't miss out on any of the crazy fun that we have. You can do that by clicking right over there. You can also check out some of our other, other videos by clicking in that box. And then of course we would really love for you to check out our sister channel Find Your Crazy Faith where we explore the faith aspect of all the things that we do in a weekly devotion every Sunday. And you can find that channel by clicking the little round symbol with the cross in it right there beside me. So until next time, guys, we hope you go out and have some crazy fun with your crazy family. See you guys.